The main purpose of photodynamic therapy is to reduce the risk of skin cancer by treating pre-existing solar damage. This is pre-existing solar keratosis. And also, photodynamic therapy can treat some superficial skin cancer that are already there. So there are three misconceptions about PDTE. One is that it's ultraviolet therapy and it burns your skin. Two, is that it's a chemotherapy. And three, that is a radiation therapy. So it's none of these. Photodynamic therapy is a light therapy, but the light does not damage your skin. And it activates the cream. It's called photoactivation. So people who have uh, had significant solar damage, especially in the younger years of their life, people who enjoy doing outdoor activities and gradually develop changes in their skin, so that the skin gets a bit redder and they start developing scaly uh, lesions on their skin, uh, these are the people that could benefit from photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic therapy has two components. One is a special cream and the other is light. So the cream is applied to the area of the skin that we want to treat and only abnormal cells, only abnormal skin is going to absorb the cream. And uh, the cream usually remains on the skin for 30 to 60 minutes. Afterwards, your, your skin is exposed to, to the light and that light activates the cream. We call it photoactivation. And it will only uh, treat abnormal skin. And the normal skin is untouched. After the treatment, we expect inflammation. It means that six to eight hours after the treatment, your skin is going to become red, inflamed, and some parts may even blister. This is a good process because that tells us that the treatment worked and the abnormal sun-damaged skin is being cleared by your immune system and it is then is going to be replaced with a healthy skin. That process of inflammation can, uh, can take up to five to seven days. And it is considered that uh, photodynamic therapy is a safe treatment. It, it has been thoroughly researched and is approved for treatment of solar keratosis, which is the pre-existing solar sun-damaged skin, and also approved for treatment of some superficial skin cancers. Uh, so during the treatment, you may experience a uh, slight stinging sensation in the skin. Uh, after the treatment, when the inflammation develops, uh, the skin may feel sensitive and may hurt a bit, and these symptoms usually resolve within 48 hours. During the time when the skin is a bit sore, you can uh, use simple painkillers like Panadol, and also uh, you'll be given creams to apply, so you apply to your skin to soothe the symptoms. After the treatment, we arrange a follow-up. So we would normally see you uh, three to five days after the treatment, then one to three weeks after the treatment, and then three months. Um, we, the purpose of the follow-up is for us to confirm that the treatment has worked. And also for the future, during your annual skin checks, we are going to monitor your skin to ensure that it's still clear and if there are any concerns, further treatment might be required.